Hi, this is Bill here at PowerStrokeHelp.com. I'm going to talk to you about a 6-4 problem that's real common. It's called the exhaust back pressure sensor. I'm not going to take it out of the bag because I'm not sure if I actually need it or not. But this sensor uh, is a very important sensor. It's very common that goes bad on these trucks. Now, it can be the sensor or it can actually be a clogged tube going to the sensor. That's what we're going to determine on my truck here. What happens when this sensor starts malfunctioning is that there is a tremendous loss of fuel economy. My truck went from about 18 miles a gallon to about 9, like that. And I believe that it's carbon buildup in there because the sensor still may be reading a little bit, but I got an extra one just in case I do need it. This is a real common problem on these trucks, especially around 90 to 100,000 miles. It's very common to see this happen and you take it to the dealer and they do a bunch of stuff to it. If they don't catch this, this problem, they'll end up throwing a bunch of parts at this truck it doesn't need. Really, it, it, when it goes down the road, it almost feels like the fuel pump is going bad because it doesn't have the, it has a little bit of power and then it kind of picks up, okay? That's the situation I found along with a poor fuel economy. So we're gonna go through some tests here. I'm gonna lead you through some tests here and show you how to find out if this is the problem with your truck. One of the things that I have in my truck is a is a uh, dash stack, which I don't even use the tuning on it. I only use it uh, for diagnostic. What I've noticed is a couple times early in the morning when I'm warming the truck up, I got a P006 code, which is a MAP EBP exhaust back pressure correlation and not matching up. So I knew that there was something possibly going on. We're going to go through here and, and check this with the uh, with the IDS system, integrated diagnostic system, which is a, an expensive Ford type diagnostic system to do to find out if it's possibly the sensor. Unfortunately, the only way you can get this diagnostic done is through us or a Ford dealer or somebody who happens to own one of these things. They're very expensive. The main indicator that I had was my dash stack letting me know that there was something not quite right. So the exhaust back pressure sensor is located right back here on the driver's side valve cover. Now, the computer, uh, when we did the computer diagnostic, it said that uh, both the MAP sensor and the exhaust back pressure sensor were working correctly. A little piece of carbon buildup down here at the exhaust pipe can cause this whole thing to go haywire. Now, when you do it, it's kind of hard to see with the camera, but when you do it, it's actually easier to go right through here, right through this gap in the fender well, to undo the tube and clean this out. So now once you got the, the sensor out of the way and the hose out of the way, you want to get like a paper clip and kind of work that hole and get whatever nastiness out of there out. Make sure it's clean. There was some carbon buildup on the tube, so we're hoping that this is what solves our problem. So that, that's what it looks like when the freshly installed exhaust back pressure sensor in a nice clean spot down there. I went ahead and replaced the sensor because I'm going to be on the road a good bit here. And I don't need this thing to be screwing up on me. Uh, and it's already warned me twice that it might be the issue. So I'm, you know, I'm spending a little money proactively here. It's a common problem. So I just went ahead and replaced the sensor in the tube while I was there. In my truck here, up front here, point right here. One of the, this dash stack is very important because what I started to notice when the EBP sensor starts going bad is I'll have plenty of fuel rail pressure and down here on my, on my dash I'll see my boost going up but I'm not feeling any thrust when I press the pedal. The exhaust back pressure sensor is absolutely crucial to the operation of a 6.4 because it, it helps the computer determine how much turbo to add or take away or whatever in terms of making power. So if the sensor is reading incorrectly and you're not getting a correct reading, then you're not going to have as much boost. And boost is where the power comes from in these diesels. And it's really measuring the pressure in between the, the combustion chamber and the turbo itself. So if that reading is incorrect, then nothing else works right. Like I was saying, I, I, I see fuel rail pressure, I see this, I have smoke coming out the tailpipe, and I don't have enough boost. When you have smoke coming out your tailpipe, you've got too much fuel and not enough oxygen, which means you don't have enough boost. From that and that one little coat I kept getting at, at warm up, I realized that there was a problem with the exhaust back pressure sensor. MAP sensors very seldom go bad. The hose going to the MAP sensor might go bad, but the MAP sensor itself very seldom goes bad. If you own a 6.4, it's absolutely crucial that you have a monitoring device like the, the, the Spartan Dash Deck or you know, uh, Edge or something of this nature, uh, Super Chips. Even if you don't use the tuning out of it, it's absolutely crucial, number one, to keep an eye on your EGTs, number two, uh, to keep an eye on your engine coolant temp, your engine oil temps, but it will, it will tell you your fuel rail pressure, and you'll, you'll all see that, and your boost, and you know if it says you're making it, but you're not, it's not going forward, the truck isn't going forward as quick as it should, then you know you have a problem. 
And six fours can be temperamental. They can be very difficult to diagnose because they are very complicated, very complicated vehicle uh, to meet the emissions controls requirements mostly is the problem. And the last thing that that, that that box, little box up there can do is when you have a check engine light or you have a, a, a code, you can check it very quickly and see if it's something serious. So with a little bit of diligence and information, data information, you can find this in your truck and take care of it uh, before you go to the dealer and get jerked around by them.